Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be doing a really big book unhaul. So I haven't done an unhaul in quite a while and this is actually an unhaul I did at the end of 2018 but I didn't feel myself doing it because it was just kind of like a spur of the moment decision that I made when I was redoing my room and redoing my bookshelves. I was like, I'm never gonna read these or I'm never gonna read these again and I didn't really like them. And I first took them to like half price books to see if I could get credit for it. They only took like two books out of my whole stack and it was bags and bags of books. And then I took two books and I only got 70 cents for them. <laughs> so I still have all of these books that I don't know what to do with. So I guess if someone wants one of these books and we would be willing to buy one I mean uh sure I wouldn't I don't I just don't know what to do with these books so I just like shoved them in boxes and shoved them in the back of my closet and I just decided to just film and show all of y'all what books I'm getting rid of but I honestly don't know what to do with any of these I guess if any of you want one of these and we would be willing to buy one I guess let me know or like dm me on twitter or something like that i don't know because i legit don't know what to do with these books at all because half price books won't take them don't know what to do if anyone knows what else i'm supposed to do with books like this i don't know where i'm supposed to like donate books or anything like that so if anyone has any information please let me know i'm desperate <laughs> and i wanted to preface saying just because i didn't like these books or i'm not gonna read these books does not mean any hate on you personally. For example, I get a lot of hate on my rant review of the Vampire Diaries series when it has nothing to do with you whatsoever. I didn't enjoy these books. Some people don't enjoy, for example, Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre's my favorite book. I get why people don't. People have different tastes. I get it. This is my taste and some of these books I did not enjoy. Just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> but anyways, in this video, I have like two separate categories. I'm first going to talk about books that I've never read before and I don't see myself reading ever and then later I'll talk about books I either DNF'd or didn't like or reading again and yeah that'll come on later but first I'm just gonna list off all of the books that I don't ever see myself reading. Not gonna get into summaries of these books. I'm just gonna list them off for y'all. First we have The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Unwind by Neil Shusterman. The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Better. Next I have a whole stack of Emily Griffin books. We have Something Blue, Baby Proof, Something Borrowed, Love the One You're With, and lastly, Heart of the Matter. Next we have Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, Ever by Gail Carson Levine, The Promise of Amazing by Robin Constantine. We have like a little art book for kids, Art Lab for Kids by Susan Schwake, with photography by Rainer Schwake. And lastly, on this whole category, we have Wicked by Gregory Maguire. Okay, so the next category of books, the rest of this video is just going to be listing off books that I have read, that I'm getting rid of, and I'll tell you all a sentence or two as to why I'm getting rid of them. First, we have Quiet by Susan Cain. I know this book is kind of like beloved in the bookish community. I read it as a school required read back in high school, and if y'all know me, I hated on school required books a lot, which is really funny because Jane Eyre was a school required read, but this is one of those instances where I had to read it for I think a biology class for some reason and I was just not having it. I ended up not even finishing this book, took the test and everything off of like spark notes or something like that and I don't even remember what grade I got, but I just wasn't a fan of this. Next is The Enchanted Life of Adam Hope by Rhonda Riley. This is a book I DNF'd. I never see myself finishing this. This book is just really, really weird. It's about like an alien who like crash lands and this woman finds him on her farm and like it's not even a him, it's an it and like it like changes its body to look like the girl who found her until one day like the alien meets a man and figures out what a man is and changes into a man and like the woman who found him and alien end up like having a relationship but they were they, but they were in a relationship back when the alien looked like like the twin of the girl that found him. It's a real weird read and I just like was not into it at all. <laughs> Next is A 16th Summer by Michelle Dalton. I was really obsessed with Michelle Dalton back in middle school. Um, it's like contemporary summer reads and I still actually have a few of them on my collection up there just because they mean a lot to me and I know what those ones are about. This one I don't remember anything. I actually don't think I've ever even read this one if I'm remembering, but maybe I DNF'd it. I don't know. Next is probably gonna hurt some people out there. We have Amy and Rogers Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. I DNF'd this book. I thought it was boring, to be honest with you. I was really excited to read this because it's well beloved in like the contemporary YA romance community, but like I was so bored. Nothing was going on at all, like the first part, and I just 
I found it really tropey for some reason. I just wasn't having it. Next is The Boy Next Door by Katie Van Ark. I never see myself rereading this book because I didn't really like it mediocre read. Next is I Remember You by Kathleen David Bell. I actually have a rant review on my channel. It's the first ever book review I did. I'm not linking it down below because it was awful. <laughs> I don't want people watching that video, but this was the first ever book review I did. I just, I, I cringe every time I see myself in that video. This book was not good for me. Too weird. <laughs> I didn't, didn't like it at all. Next I have a duplicate copy of Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Next is Finding Mr. Brightside by Jay Clark. It was a three-star read for me, just really tiny, short, contemporary romance book. I don't remember anything about it. Next is Bewitching by, I think, Alex Flynn, the same author of Beastly. Don't really remember anything about this book. I think it's about, like, maybe the witch from Beastly. Don't remember anything about this at all. It's been hasn't been picked up since like middle school. Next we have The Last Time We Were Us by Leah Conan. I think I read this in like one sitting on like the 4th of July or something like that. I think I was sick on the 4th of July one year and like I read this in that whole day. Has insta love. Not a fan of. Didn't really enjoy this book. Next is Princess of Thorns by Stacey J. I DNF'd this book I believe last year. It's a retelling of Sleeping Beauty. Next we have The Vampire Diaries by L.J. Smith. These books are quite known as some very disliked books from me. <laughs> um, I have a rant review. Not like a rant review, it's comparing the books and TV show. I can't watch that video either at all. That's like the one video people like hate on me on because I talk about how much I don't like these books. Don't really care. Didn't like them at all. Next I have the Kissed by an Angel trilogy. It's a bind up. DNF'd this. And then we also have the Silver Kiss by Annette Curtis Klaus. I also DNF'd this. Okay so the next two books I mostly kept because it is just really strange find for me. So the first book is The Beginning of Everywhere by Robin Schneider. I read this book a long while ago, I want to say middle school. Contemporary book, don't remember anything about it whatsoever. And I would normally unhaul it. But one day I was at Half Price Books with my mom, like years or a year or two later, and I stumbled across this book, Severed Heads, Broken Hearts by Robin Schneider. And it had been years since I read this book, so I didn't know that they were affiliated whatsoever, but I just read the back of this book and I was like, ooh, that looks good. I'll buy it. It was, I think, like two bucks. And I took it home and I started reading it. And I was like, this seems so familiar. I swear I've read this book before. They're the exact same book. <laughs> I want to say one of them's like, I want to say maybe like the British UK version, maybe? I don't know. Or they just ended up changing the title from this one to this one, maybe? I don't know what happened there, but like, I just think this is a really cool find that I had. So that's why I kept it for years. But like, I, I don't see myself reading these books at all. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of them. <laughs> Next is Monstrous Beauty by Elizabeth Fama. Fama. This is a Little Mermaid retelling, I want to say, or like a weird insta lovey mermaid story. Mediocre read, in my opinion. <laughs> Next is The Perks of Loving a Scoundrel by Jennifer McQuiston. I DNF'd this one. Next is The Season of You and Me by Robin Constantine. I read this book years ago. Contemporary YA book. Don't remember anything about it. Don't see myself rereading it. Next is Allie's Pretty Little Lies by Sarah Shepard. This is the only Pretty Little Liars book I ever read, and I don't know why I picked this up. I don't see myself reading this series ever, and I'm not really that big of a fan of the TV show I was back in the day. I'm not really a fan nowadays, so I, I don't see myself keeping this. Next is What Light by Jay Asher. I just thought this was a mediocre read. Contemporary romance book. Wasn't that big a fan of it. Wasn't in love with it. Don't see myself ever rereading this one. Next we have Sublime by Christina Lauren. I don't know. I said Christina Lauren's name in an unhaul video. This is the first Christina Lauren book I ever read. Let's just say I did not want to read a Christina Lauren book ever after reading this book. I hated this book so much. Didn't like it. Hated it a lot. And uh, turns out Christina Lauren is one of my favorite authors now. Don't know how that happened, but this is just a weird YA fantastical ghost death book that I just didn't like. If you want to know more why, like DM me or comment about it. I don't know because there's plenty I could rant about this book about, which is really saying something because I love Christina Lauren's book so much, but this was not 
good, in my opinion, for, for me at least. And lastly on this list, we have Wrong in All the Right Ways by Tiffany Brownlee. I think this was my most disliked book or my most disappointing read of 2018. I did not enjoy this book. I just think this isn't a well-edited novel. Didn't think it was a great Withering Heights retelling. I ended up like DNFing like ha like mm, over half of this book and like I skipped 50% of it just to read like the last chapter. I skipped 50% of this book and understood everything by the last chapter of this book. Too much fluff and like stuff was not needed and didn't like the couple. Insta love bad relationship unhealthy relationship it just it was not my cup of tea at all so there you have it those are the books that i decided to unhaul at the end of 2018 that are still sitting in the back of my closet and i uh, don't know what to do with any of them if anyone has any ideas of what i can do with these books please let me know because half price books is not taking them anyways thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all soon with a new video bye